was that one of the patients? Because it looked like one of the things from under the... In the ruins beneath the... Beneath the brothel. Why the hell are there so many wheelchairs? Okay, I think I've looped around, right? Yeah, this is where I started from. Let's try to bring out the spirits here. My spirit dance. There's a fog coming tonight, a chill coming tonight, such a sea of change coming tonight. Okay. Where to now? Actually, what is my... search for asylum records. Wait, where does this go? There's something above it saying where it goes. Let's find out. It goes down. Great. There's an outside world. I wish I was there instead of here. Dining hall. That fucking ball. I'm just gonna stare at the dining hall and take a drink. I don't know what that does. Let's find out. I don't think I should have done that. Can I put it back to where it was? Okay. Everything's good? Cool. I shouldn't have done that either. But it was satisfying. Can I break plates? Oh, I can't. Lame. What the fuck? <laughs> Someone's been having fun with the mannequins. Oh. Okay. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. And screw you. Dr. Stedman. Hunfield heard about the little dust-up you had in the dining hall the other night. He's gloating and strutting about, saying he'll soon have authority over patient 18 due to your professional negligence. I wouldn't be surprised if he put 79 up to it in the first place. Keep an eye on him. He's far too excited about getting his hands on a new test subject. Looks like there's a bit of a war between the doctors. What the hell? What was that? Oh, 
it's the bottom of this. This is where the creature went. I don't want to be down here. Hmm. Looks like that'll take me to a lower level. But before that... two ways to go. I can go up there, or or I can see what's in here. Security ward. That'd be a good place to go. But... Ooh, what's this? Entertainment. The Three Skit Review. Ladies' Choice and Operetta in Five Parts. Felicia's Harpus Cord Honky Donk. Is that how you pronounce it? A harpist chord? Not sure. Summer's Day celebrations and dinner with Dr. Stedman. Dinner with Dr. Stedman? That's entertainment. That's like torture. Whoa. I guess it doesn't like me reading notes. Perhaps the monster is illiterate and is angered by my ability to read. Alright, let's see what's in here. Wait, haven't I been here already? Is it women's ward? Instead of security? No, I guess I haven't. And that's back to the lobby. Whoops. Meant to pick it. Oh, this is the showers. Isn't this where there's supposed to be, um, a tunnel? A secret place? Something that's been sealed over with threaded screws or whatnot? playing with that ball again? Or is that me kicking around papers? Oh, it's me kicking around books. Sounds kind of like a ball bouncing. Policy and writing materials. Writing materials may only be used under strict supervision. Writing materials are to be provided only when the patient can express a distinct goal. No pens with metal nibs are to be given to patients. Self-expression is not a valid form of cognitive therapy. What the fuck? Yeah, this place is pretty terrible. Self-expression is not a valid form of cognitive therapy. Wow. See you. The voices are getting louder. Every time I go near her, they start screaming. My hands are shaking so badly I can't even sign the register. What do I do? My hair, my fingernails, my teeth. It feels it's like I'm falling apart. I can't go down there again. I can't keep doing this. Dr. Stedman will understand. I'll explain myself, 
and get transferred back to the city. Everything will be all... And then it ends. <laughs> Everything will be all... Right? Mm, probably not. P probably not all right. Given the fact that he couldn't even finish the sentence. Wait a minute, no, I have been here. Yeah, I just, I guess I missed that or something. Wait, what? I'm getting confused with the architecture. This is the same place I used this on, right? Or no. No, I guess it isn't. Huh. Okay, so then what the hell's over here? That's the food. Right? Yeah, I've already been here. Oh god, I'm gonna get lost in this place. I'm gonna get lost forever. That goes back to the lobby. Oh. Oh, that's how I get there. Okay. Gotcha. Now it's time to go up the shaft. Time to climb the shaft. <laughs> and then, of course, there's still the thing... thing to turn. Oh, there's the ball. I can't move it, can I? Nope. Let's see if there's any forks I've missed. <laughs> Ooh, spoon. Whoosh. Whoosh. Just gliding from table to table. Okay, let's go up here. Yeah, this is just back up to the women's ward. <laughs> okay, I guess it wasn't as far of a drop as I thought, so when I looked down there, it looked like it was so far that I couldn't... I couldn't drop down or I'd die. Okay, so what does this do? It lets me turn it back and forth. Which is strange. Usually it doesn't let you do that. You just turn it once and you're done. So what does it do? I heard something scream the first time I did it. And the shaft suggests that whatever it's doing is maybe above me. In the women's ward. What? What did it do? Look, I've made a wreath of white poppies for her pretty dark head. Party looked in here. Mm hmm. So, yeah. And that just goes back down to the place that goes down, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm officially lost. Maybe the map to the rescue? Wait, is it telling me that's where the details are? Like, is it just straight up telling me that's where they are? Did I already search in there? Just use the mini-map for a second. Yeah, well, it's locked, so...
Alright, so that's my goal. But... How? One side is locked and the other side is broken. Is there a switch I can hit? With an arrow? There's a thing, I don't know what that thing is. It's nothing. I could put out the fire. But I want to. I don't know, I've got six water arrows, why not? Well, I didn't do anything. Just made it look grim and depressing. So there's some sort of like a lever or something. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's the entrance. I didn't realize this was up here. So yeah, just go straight in. I've already been in there. Are there any places it can take me that I haven't been? Looks like most of them are closed over. Pretty sure I've been in all the rooms, right? <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Wait, this doesn't take me in? Or, oh wait, it's right here, isn't it? Yeah. Now I wish I didn't put out that fireplace. Actually lit the freaking place up. Now it's dark. Now it's really, really dark. All patients have been exhibiting increased ing aggression of late. We had similar incidents last year when patient 18 was in the central seclusion, but those ceased with her removal to reformation. Still, the behaviors occurring now show disturbing similarities. Patient 82 actually growled at me when I brought her, when I brought her meal this morning. A child should not be able to make those noises. All we can do is continue to provide the care that they need. I will not be responsible for sending any more patients to Hunfield's abattoir. Ab abattoir? I don't even know what the hell an abattoir is. Nurse Aubermill. Alright. Patient 79 has been experiencing increased dilutions of demons in the corners. Recommend cognitive therapy with Dr. Stedman to calm her. Patient was found to have drilled holes in his walls again. Moved to 7M and cautioned. Recommend no forks or knives during meal times to avoid reoccurrence. Patient 49 moved from 3M to 4M. Inconsistency of noise was disturbing patient 16 and causing him to scream at varied intervals. Patient 78 continues to insist that her presence is accidental and that she is sane. Recommend lobotomization if her delusions continue. Patient 45 is evidence that the procedure is a massive success. Dr. Huntfield continues in the delusion that he should have should have jurisdiction over the entire asylum. Recommend he pull his head out of his ass and stop suggesting lobotomizations in his office logbook when I'm off duty. <laughs> this place is a fucking mess. I could have told them you were in trouble, but what did you do? Show me. Move to the treatment center wing. It pains me to confirm your inquiry, but in fact, patient 18 will undergo procedure in room 3F as you fear. I thought we closed the door on that room of hordes years ago. The subject is 
classified for selective experimentation on the instructions of Baron Northcrest himself. This is the last time I sign a patient over, the, over to the treatment center. They need doctors, not butchers. Hunfield will be taking over the subject in all aspects. I pity the girl, Thurlow. May she find peace somewhere in her madness. There's Aubermill. Treatment Center Wing. Can I leave by the normal way, or do I have to go back up? I think I gotta go back up. I can't even hit it. I guess it just opened up for me. Hm. Let me guess, when I go in here, there's going to be a pillar I need to push out of the way. There's always a pillar I need to push out of the way. And yet Moira Asylum is not without its share of troubles. Battered by the constant to and fro of coastal winds, it has a melancholy and beleaguered atmosphere, and not common to the more grounded buildings of the city. Nor does it want for droughts and other embellishments. Her staff are both courteous and cheerful, despite their conditions, for which they are to be commended. Most startling yet, however, is the fertile soil of the Asylum's island within which have been sown the many seeds of wildflowers no longer common to the more civilized surrounds, to which we have become accustomed. Alright, pillar. Is it gonna be a pillar? Oh, there's the pillar. There's always a pillar. Descend to the treatment level. I should just say descend into hell, because that's what's going to happen. I should just take me to the new document when I press F1 instead of having, having to hunt it down. Passing beyond this point constitutes a strict confidentiality agreement. Sure. My lips are sealed. Whatever. Only one way to go. Garrett's losing his mind. <laughs> I can use this magnifying glass to find clues. Preemptively open this up in case I need to run like a madman. on the lift but first what's in here find room 3f okay what does this do well the thingy's red so I'm guessing it doesn't have power okay oh 
Hold on, I can go down there. A gold magnifying glass. I can find clues even better. <sighs> Medical experimentation in progress. Great. Great. Oh, look at all these peoples. So I can't wait to see what I'm going to find. What fresh horrors await me through here? All dead. All dead, but the shadows, they were taken by the shadows. The shadows have been hungry since she went away. Change down. I'm sorry, finish that thought. Or don't. Alright, I'm guessing this whole place needs power to open up any of these. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Doors need power. There's probably a generator down here somewhere. If I didn't start the power generator, no kidding. I already figured that out. Didn't even notice those. Wow. Okay, let's uh, eat. I really didn't think to look for traps in an asylum. Didn't even occur to me. Man, what is this? Does this start the generator? No. Not the map. Got a bunch of documents. We've got 26 out of 42. Making good progress. Okay, Pete, I have a favor to ask of you. The elevator to reformation is currently open access. Anyone can just waltz in and pay a visit to the maximum security. I'd like you to install a locking mechanism. This isn't just for the safety of those in reformation, but for the safety of our patients here in the asylum as well. What happens if one of Hunt's field of Hunt... Huntfield's subjects gets loose. The patients on the upper levels would be defenseless. Think about it. I'll get you whatever clearance you need. Avery, leave quietly. Ignore the oil and glass. They're for your protection. Light a torch and meet me at the docks. I don't know what they are, but if one of them sees you, set the bastard alight and run. I'll wait for you.
set the bastard alight and run. I might need to use my fire arrows. Preferably, though, I'll just avoid even getting noticed. By whatever they are. if you try to look over the railing on the side of it. Doesn't quite look right. <laughs> I'm kind of gyrating on the pole. Okay, hopefully I can start it up here. Yep, yeah, that looks like that's it. Get the party started. Getting the generators going in Thief Deadly Shadows as well. Hmm. Hearing that noise almost makes me regret pressing that. Yeah. Thing came out. That's a good sign. I feel like I should sneak from here on out, though. Show him you're scared. Don't let him see you lose control. I wanted to stop him. I wanted to save myself, but they won't let me wake up. I need the primal out of the girl now, but do not let her die, no matter the cost. You understand the fear, don't you, Garrett? The fear of being trapped, of being used. Quickly! She's corrupting it! See? Oh, I ruin everything. The primal is dangerous! It must be controlled! No! It's no good. I'll take her back down to the prison level. I thought you died. But it was worse. You did steal the primal that night. Now the Baron wants it back. I spoke about the prison level. Looks like I'm going even deeper into this hole. What a surprise. Oh. Is that one actually there this time? Maybe it is. Is it? I think maybe it is. I think it is. Okay. Now I actually do have to sneak. Yep, there it is. Oh, they're, they're fast. They're really fast. Thank you. 
The ritual to harness the primal suffered a terrible setback, but perhaps there is still hope. The energy merely entered a weaker vessel than the one intended. I cannot see how this was possible, but there must be a way to return it to the stone. Also, I have no idea what the primal actually is. But, anyway, who cares? The story doesn't really matter. Ooh, a flash bomb. How do I actually use the flash bomb? Is there a special key for the flash bomb? Oh no, that's this is the flash bomb. Nah, I don't need it. I don't think I need it. I'll keep it I'll keep it ready just in case. The flash bomb is kinda of something you need in an emergency. Not something you want to hunt for. That was close. That was really close. Butterflies in the brackets. Suppose I would get crushed by that if I was under it when it came down. Butterflies in the bracket in summer. Okay, I want to go down there to that little place, but I also want to know what's in here. Hi. Spreading like oil. Breathe in air. Go face down into your own fire. Oh, he didn't fall forwards. I'm hoping nobody checks in here. Really hoping nobody checks in here. Just in case. Let's do that. In case someone comes in here. Calibrate machine carefully before commencing operation. Piercing the veil that masks the window to the soul can reveal the path to wellness. <laughs> what? The veil that masks the window to the soul can reveal the path to wellness? What a word salad. Delicious word salad. Doors are to remain closed at all times. Uh, does a patient distress when completing shock therapy course? Of course. A moment of pain can bestow a lifetime of well-being. Oh, Jesus, this fucking place. Clean instruments with alcohol before commencing vivisection. Exploration of stresses on the human body is best done in the heady light of life. You. This place is really disgusting. I'm wondering if I explored all the way back here. Boom. We'll make exploration a little bit easier. What are you doing there? Oh, the guy, like, beat up the other guy, didn't he? That must be the other guy. Yeah, did I fully explore this place? I guess I did. 
I mean, all the uh, open places? Yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. Forgot that explored the back, like, two ones. Well, hell, I might as well just take this guy out, right? Hello, are you dead? I guess this is how it go down. I made it. I found it. The other man, the other me, he hid his caches in these vents, like a well-worn coat. The close walls are comforting in a way I've never felt before, and I feel so close to him that I can almost smell his scent. The treasure of his labors can't be far, and the clicking, beating heart of our combined desire must be closer yet. A small rest, and I will continue. I have come so close, it can only be a matter of feet before the years join us in triumph. I just go in a circle. Yeah, I just went in a circle, didn't I? Alright, the treasure's in the vents. Well, I guess not in these vents right here, right? thorough. Very, very thorough. Old prison. This place looks like the ruins under the brothel. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like the creatures under the brothel. They sound like the deep ones. this do? Just return it back to here if it's on another floor? Or... Oh, it turns on the light. Let's go ahead and leave that off. And let's see what's down here. Oh. Oh, they run from location to location. I'm assuming that's not a scripted thing, but that's just a normal one. If they do run, that's going to make avoiding them a lot harder. Got to keep a close friggin' eye out. Thankfully, these light 
These little light flowers don't give me away. Maybe it was just scripted to run away from me. If it does run from location to location, then I would have expected it to run back already. Yeah, where the hell did it go? Oh, <laughs> probably down there. Get my flash bomb selected again. Hi. Now, that thing I wouldn't feel bad about killing. But I wonder if you can even knock it out. Ooh, it doesn't like light. Okay. Turn this light off. Upgrade my focus that I don't even use. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, intuition. Sure. And stealth. And hmm. Sure. One thing I'm really curious about before I keep going down there is what about the elevator? Does this thing actually work? Oh, it does. Okay, we're going up somewhere. Very, very slowly. It's one of the slowest elevators I've ever taken. Good time to have a drink. Mm. Oh, it goes here. Okay. Gotcha. Why the hell does this elevator have to be so slow? It's painful. <laughs> okay, can I keep going down? No, I can't. Alright, so that's all it does. Exciting. So exciting. This is that place, so time to go this way. Towards the thing. The monster. Prison rules. Do not approach patients. Do not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not exactly relevant to me. Was Aaron really held down here? I should check all the cells. What if they can see in the dark? I just thought about that. They live in the dark. Can they see in the dark? Do I need maybe I'm shouldn't be maybe I shouldn't be turning these lights off. I may need to turn them on. so much a prison as a freaking dungeon. And those are some floating cuffs. Okay. I accept this visual input. Oh, 
I've noticed that patient 11 exhibits increased aggression and, ag and agitation when patient 18 is being wheeled past his room. His attempts to touch her never get far, but his struggles are violent enough that today he pulled one of the anchor hooks from the ceiling of his cell. This will require further study. Dr. Huntfield. Oh shit, there's one. Looks like it's hitting its head against a wall. And there's, I think, a light. Let's see if I can knock it out. No. Oh god. Get away from me, you fuck. Yeah. Did it just go into a tiny hole? It just went inside of that hole? How in the hell did it fit? Hi- oh my god. Huh. Well, at least I know they don't run. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> He's blocking the doorway, God damn it! Okay, um... I think maybe I need to kill them. What's the most efficient way to do this? Do I need to kill them? Let me just try not pissing them off in the first place. Let's try that. Let's just jump over here. Yeah, I've got my fire arrows ready. God, there's a bunch of them. A lot of things I can break, too. Look at that. Noises these things make. Creepy. There's so many of them. If I actually wanted to kill them all, it would take a lot of effort. inside of these cells. And it sounds like they're everywhere. I mean, it sounds like they're really close, but they're they're not that close. It's really disturbing. Because I feel like they're right behind me all the time. I think that one's going to see me if I go up the stairs. That way, anyway. If I go up the stairs that way, 
on the other side. It should be fine. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way. I don't know. Oh my god. What have I done? Look, there's the pillar. My greatest friend. Maximum security. I'm sure there's loot I missed back there, but I do not give a damn. Don't care. Oh, fuck. That made a lot of noise. exactly did I get here? It looked like they captured me. I guess something else happened. Yeah, whatever. I'm alive. That's all that matters. The poppies arrive on silver trays, and I'm falling into darkness. Why am I alone? Focus energy. I don't really need it, but thank Every you. Every time I breathe, it hurts. I want to stop the voices. How can I breathe when there's death everywhere? Right, so something happened to transform them into this. Garrett, where are you? You were the one I thought I could trust. They're changing! What's happening? They deserve to be punished. All we need are the truth. Looks like I get it from up there. So, let's go up. Get through the door. Oh well, I don't really care about it. Unless I need it. I don't think I do. Hmm, maybe I do. Not sure what else I'm supposed to do.
Okay, what am I missing? Oh, I can climb onto that? Okay. Me, me, and more me. Keep moving just a little bit. Baron, he's here. No! You Please be quiet. Quickly! Keep her away from the fighting! She's too important to die in this rock! Too important to be Of course to die. he hates me. I wonder if they understand the pain. She is our future! The Northcrest bastards. Why can't they hate him? Are you with me, Garrett? Someone's gonna die. Maybe I am going crazy. Only one way to find out. The Baron. Back to Northcrest Manor. Back to where it all began. That was an interesting camera transition. Looked like it was in the floor of the level and then it zoomed back here. That was an anticlimactic ending. 67% of the loop, pretty good. 73 out of 106 items. Yeah. Man, I still only got three out of six collectibles. I never found the stash in the, um, in the walls, right? No. What the hell was it? This game has a lot of really well-hidden secrets, because I'm pretty damn thorough. And there's a lot that I miss. It's probably mostly because I don't have focus. I'm sure if you had focus on, it'd be much easier to find them. My collection's been updated. The Baron has Aaron, then I need to break into Northcrest Manor before the mob does. It's time I got some answers. Alright, let's take a look at my collection. Got a good amount of plaques. Yeah, these display cases are still pretty barren. Got some things in here, though. Not looking too bad. These are empty. That's sad. I've got... How many paintings in total are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I've got 4 out of the 12, I think. Yep. Sweet. Alright, well on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.